guys, it's Robin, our Island Crafts. This is Talk To Me Tuesday for Tuesday, December 5th, 2017. I decorated. I've been very, very focused this past week. I did decorate yesterday, so I took some time last night off of um, Hoodie Patrol, and I decorated my room. After I do a little bit of chatting with you, I'll give you a quick little tour. It's kind of funny because most of the decoration is right here. This is my big blank wall. So most of my decorations are on this wall. So one of the things I did is this hoodie. I have had this hoodie since 2009 when my daughter joined the Army and she graduated from the Army boot camp. One of the things, you know, they're always trying to sell parents on something, so one of the things we got was a, she was in Wolfpack, and um, her little group, I'm not even gonna pretend to get the right names with platoons and squadrons and all that, but her little group was the Wolfpack. The back of the shirt has all the people's names who made it and those who didn't make it were crossed off and marked as AWOL. They designed the hoodie, they chose the colors and all of that. But this was a pullover hoodie. This is like a winter jacket down here in Florida. You don't very seldom need much more than this except for maybe something in the mornings. But by the time the sun comes up, it's nice and warm. See what I mean by the arms? My poor little fingers. So as, as a pullover one, you're constantly getting hot and you're always wanting to take it off. So what I did is I found out you can just slice up the center and add a zipper to it. So I added a zipper. I did that and today in preparation for working on my son's Justin hoodie. And that was the other project that I've been mostly working on. So let me take this thing off because it's like 84 degrees today and I'm hot. Now my son Justin, he's um, 29, he'll be 30 next year. He's like 6'2", 6'3". And I'm like 5'6", five, 5'7". Five, so when I stand behind him, I have to go like this to be able to see over his shoulders. And he likes his hoodies long. So it's much longer than me. And he really wanted a Blue's Clues theme, so he got the Blue's Clues inside the hood. Blue's Clues on the pockets. As you can see, I did the white knit cuffs and the waistband. For the first time making a hoodie and working with fleece other than a blanket, I think it turned out pretty well. When I turn the camera around, I will go ahead and show you and point out special little details on how things worked out and how they didn't. But that's all I worked on for my Talk To Me Tuesday this week. I took one day and I cut out the fleece. Then I took another day and I sewed this part together and that part together. And then another day I put on the hems and the cuff. And then today I did the zipper and the pockets. I'm going to be giving this to him tomorrow or Thursday. He'll be very, very happy because we have a cold front coming through on Saturday and our high will be probably, if we're lucky, it'll hit 60. And now I know, I know, I know, but this is Florida. 60 is cold for us. 50, this is our jacket for 50. And when it gets below down into the freezing in the 32s and 28s, we just don't go outside. Okay, one second and I will give you a tour of the room and talk about these hoodies. Okay, so here's a quick little tour of the room. Now, even though I've been in here probably about five, six months, I haven't decided what type of storage I'm going to use. I think I've narrowed it down that I wanna use those metal wire shelves instead of like bookcases and stuff like that. They're, they're sturdier, they're gonna hold the fabric better and let everything breathe. And if I wanna to change to something else later, those shelves will still be useful. So, okay, where I'm standing right now is my door and you can see that's where I stand all the time to film. I went ahead and I strung up these blue lights that I probably should have plugged in. Hold on. Okay, there you go. Blue lights. I had two strings of the blue, so I went with that all the way across the ceiling. I really prefer just the straight blue lights or the straight white ones for decoration. My messy, messy desk that I just haven't figured out what to do with and everything. 
gotta have a clock because you gotta know what time it is to go cook dinner for the family. Now one of the things I haven't done yet is I still have this white tree to decorate and I have a green one in my bedroom that is decorated. Here's my little Christmas table. Let me turn on my light. Is that better? I made a little Christmas table here. I haven't had these decorations out in a very long time. This giant ceramic boot here, it was a gift from the surgeons at the hospital I used to work at. It had a big styrofoam ball on the top with a whole bunch of candies pinned to it. They just threw the boot away, so I took it home because it works great for candy canes. This guy right here is one of my favorite Santas. It's just the perfect red and the perfect green. And I love old world Santas and snowmen. Now look at the cute little cup. Okay, so I hung up my stocking. And this right here will have Christmas cards once they start once they start coming in. My advent calendar. This guy jingles. I left Susie and the Flamingo up because I used command strips on the back of that and I didn't want to waste them. Because after Christmas all this stuff's going to come down. This tree used to sing and dance, but I left the batteries in one year and they got corroded. I made the snowman family. It was a felt kit. And all these different snowmans and Santa and stuff. These are all clings that I picked up at the Dollar Tree. They stick to the wall really well, and they don't peel anything off. There's my Believe sign, and another stocking with my grandmother's um, cow bull. We always call it a cow, but it's got horns. You can't see very well, but there are. this is the window I put my clings on. And you get a good glimpse of how it looks like in here at night if I'm sewing. these towels I don't remember if I picked them up at Target or the Dollar Tree or someone gave them to me but they're a very scratchy material and from past experiences once you wash them once they get kind of funky looking so I just hung them up on my window curtain there out over the curtain rod as a decoration as you can see this wall really doesn't have much room because there's a closet right there so I do have my snowman up I really like that quilt that was another one I got from a swap. But I've been testing out using these shoe closet organizer hanging things. I had them from when, like when Robbie was little, we used to put his school uniforms in it each day so he didn't have to worry about choosing a uniform. But I don't know. We'll see. So that was my quickie little Christmas decoration room tour. Now let me show you what the hoodies look like. Okay, so this is the back side of my um, my Wolfpack Army boot camps hoodie sweatshirt, however you want to call it. They put the drill sergeant's names up, the name of their wolf pot, Wolfpack. You have the drill sergeant, and then they put the soldiers across with a... I mean, it's... It looks like the moon to me. I get, Yeah, it's probably the moon because, you know, wolves howl at the moon, so that's probably what that is. What I thought was really cool is the shadow from each soldier is an actual wolf with them baring their teeth. So I thought that was really neat. At the time that they made these shirts, they had these two had gone AWOL, which means that they, they, they'd uh, either got hurt and left or the drill sergeant said that they wouldn't be able to make it in the army, so they got sent home. I believe there was one or two other people after the making of this shirt that also didn't get didn't make it all the way to the end. And then my daughter... Surprisingly, they got her name right. A lot of times they spell her name wrong. I've learned a lot doing these things, and uh, there's a couple things I'd do differently next time. But basically, it was just measure up and figure out where the middle of the hoodie was. It was a little harder because there's no seams on the side of this one. So if it was actually a hoodie with seams, it would be a lot easier. But then I just got brave, and I just sliced it right up the middle. The things that I, I need to figure out to do a little differently is when you get up to the top here... I don't really know how to end off the zipper and stuff and this hoodie had the overlapping 
where the hood is so it wasn't really meant for a zipper so I had to kind of like just wing it a little so I, I've got this little lump here and I've got these pieces that I'm gonna have to tack down I might be able to get a piece of black ribbon and put it on it and then that'll make it nice but when I wear it and zip it up it's really nice it doesn't have any of those big humps in it of course when it's zipped up and I sit down there is a little bit of an issue but I think overall it came out really well. Now these colors are washing out the camera on Justin's hoodie. This is a, a dark blue. And we all know what Blue's Clues looks like, right? And the fleece is a very, very light colored blue, a very nice pale blue. I'd already ordered a blue zipper for this. You know, it's hard online to tell one color from another, but I couldn't buy anything locally. So I, I'd ordered this online and that was before I realized that my only option was white or black on the knit. But that's okay because he had a full white hoodie once before and he was happy with it, so it's okay. Everything looks pretty good on the inside. I'm not sure if there's a way to do it, like if you should put like a ribbon down to cover this, but I think ultimately it just basically looks like any old store-bought one. As I was making this, I kept checking my kids' old hoodies that I still have here in the closet to, you know, to see where I should put, like... On here to see that you, you do the double stitch binding. Well, they had one line of stitching on the actual hoodie and most of the time not on the ribbing. Some did it on the ribbing, but most of them were up here. So I did a couple did a couple of lines of top stitching along here just to uh there's tons and tons of threads. Just to make sure everything laid nice and, and it gave it a nice look. Which I also, because I'd carry that through, I'd start it on the hoodie and I put two lines here just to make sure, since it's a lined hoodie, that it wouldn't, um, I didn't want it to roll anywhere at all. So I went ahead and I did two lines of top stitching there. Now the problem I had is because I had to change the pattern for his, he has very, very wide shoulders. So I had to change the pattern to uh, account for his wide shoulders, which then meant I had, since I changed the back of it, I also had to change the front of it. And then that changed the arm width and the armpit and everything like that. And I just couldn't get all. So I struggled a bit on the shoulders because I couldn't get all the numbers quite to get right. And I ended up with a couple puckers here and there, but I think overall, once he puts it on his shoulders, just the weight of everything will just hold it down and it'll be all right. All the patterns I've seen had you do in the pockets before, after, during, whenever. But when I I want I put these on after I did the zipper because I really didn't want to have to sew through all these different layers. But I think next time that I probably would instead of having them just sitting on top like this, I think I would go ahead and sew them into the zipper and stitch them into the hem. I mean, they're fine, and he'll like it, but I really don't think he's going to wear this zipped up. I think for the most of the time, he's going to have it unzipped, and uh, so everything will work out pretty well. I didn't have a serger, so I just overcast my seams, but, but I think it'll be fine. It all turned out really well. I like the way it came out. So now I've got the next two to do. They're both going to be a charcoal gray. One's going to have a Zelda theme and the other one's just gonna have some red accents. Oh, one more thing I wanted. I have a little funny story to go. You know, anyone who's been watching my channel for a bit saw that I did the advent calendars for my three grown children that live in their own house. I didn't put like a lot of effort into it. I did think about it and I did spend some time wrapping things and getting it all ready for them and choosing which days of the month they should open it. Now I know my children and I knew they weren't going to make it all the way to Christmas. I knew they were probably going to eat all their gummies before then and eat their goldfish. But I kind of thought they would leave some of their presents to open. So I get a text yesterday from my daughter. Oh, mom, we decided to open up all of our advent gifts. I'm like, okay, fine. Uh, you guys you guys made it three whole days, so by the fourth, you decided to open everything. I'm like, whose idea was it? I, I knew darn well it was going to be my daughter's, because if there's presents around, 
don't care that she's 26 years old. She has to open all the presents. So my, my children have finished off their advent calendar. They've eaten their gummies, not all of them, and they've opened up all their presents. So I think next time they're not getting an advent calendar, at least not this way next year. Or maybe I'll put one of the boys in charge because apparently my daughter can't control herself. But that's okay. They're my kids. I love them. All right, that's it for me this week. We'll talk to you next week. Don't forget to come back on Friday where we are doing a Sew With Me and we will be doing applique mug rugs. Bye!